I guess the, the, the picture of this story is that six years ago, our group was delisted from the Toronto area intergroup uh, of Alcoholics Anonymous. And uh, the reason for that um, seems to be that uh, we had uh, changed the, the, the wording that was uh, sort of accepted as the 12 steps of uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. Well, right now what's coming up is, uh, is a mediation. It's the second of two days that we've had put aside and we're hoping to resolve our court differences or our legal differences um, without having a, a trial, um, which would be preferred, I think, because trials are expensive. And, um, and try to get some kind of resolution so that everybody can move forward uh, appropriately. So we tried negotiating and uh, we were shut down. Uh, calls weren't re returned. Conversations couldn't happen. There were then votes and they changed the rules of admission to their organization. And they basically turned themselves into a religious organization at the, in the Toronto area which is contrary to the, the AA line. It's, uh, it's a spiritual program, not a religious one. Uh, I thought that Toronto was going to, uh, they were going to be, they, they offered that they were going to put a motion on to relist us. And um, that didn't happen. And 90 days later, I, I filed uh, my complaint with the Human, Human Rights uh, Commission. Um, and that's what happened because it's really not acceptable to, uh, to exclude people on the basis of religion, especially if you're not a religious organization. If you're, you know, if you're a church, you have a right to do that, but this is not. This is a, a charitable organization in Toronto, and, and you have to follow the laws of, of the province of Ontario and the laws of Canada. You know, it's, it's my charter rights. I'm not about to relinquish it. I choose what I say. I choose what I engage in. But if you put up uh, conditions and you present yourself in a certain way, you're certainly encouraging self-discrimination or self-removal from the process. So, you know, if a Muslim comes into an AA meeting in downtown Toronto and the meeting talks about all this God stuff, that's all fine and dandy, but then closes the meeting with the Lord's Prayer, we have a problem. It, it's not going to sit well. Now, while you're getting better, while you're getting healthier, while you're not drinking, while you're rewriting your, your neural paths, while you're doing whatever, you also have some things that you, you know, that you have to fill up your life with because it takes time. And the 12 steps is not an unhealthy way of, of taking up your time while you're sort of hyper-focused on getting better. And uh, now, are all of the things that are in the 12 steps um, useful or helpful or do they have to be done in a certain order? Nothing has to be done in a certain order. I mean, just that's the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard. There's things in the 12 steps that you can't possibly do anyway. We say we can do them, but you can't. You can't turn your will in your life over to anything other than yourself. It's not possible. It, it's, that's, that's an absolutely ridiculous statement that, that you can do that because it can't be done. Larry was uh, had some good news recently, a mediated settlement after he and some others were able to bring forward a complaint to the Ontario Human Rights Tribunal about Alcoholics Anonymous not being inclusive enough.